Hello, I'm Mal, or Captain Mal, as I like to say. <laughs> Welcome back to the adventures of the dread ship Fuzzy Bear and our fleet. Oh, who's coming after us here? What do we got? Oh, look at that. That's like a badass pirate hunter ship. Let's take him. Let's take him. Oh, it's a frigate. Nice. So here's our plan. I will, uh, oh man, I gotta concentrate on this one. Ooh. Um, I will take care of this ship here, this frigate, hopefully. And then, we are going to get some more men, and we're going to head south into the heart of the Spanish Main. We'll start doing a run on those guys. I think that makes the most sense. We just got to pick up enough guys to do it. We don't have the crew to sustain anything right now. Hey, you like that bucket? Hmm, did you? There we go. We'll keep her. That's a, that's a nice ship. Let's see, what are you protecting there, merchantman? Let's... Damn, town attacking us. Let's attack this escort here. So we'll grab, uh, yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll grab a couple more ships. We'll go back, we'll outfit them. And then we'll do some, uh, some more recruiting. It gets easier, progressively easier to recruit when you have more notoriety and uh, more more rank with any given faction. Hey now, come on now. There we go. That yeah, was giving me a little bit of a tough time there. Oof, this one's going to be kind of rough, I think. Yeah, every ship takes I think, eight men or something like that, twelve men, to uh, as a basic crew. So that's less men that can fight on your flagship in these conflicts. Yeah, my fleet's full. That's fine. We'll just take everything. All right, so we're gonna go back again and refit. I've actually taken out enough French ships that we should be able to get a promotion. Let's take a look here. Let's go to status. English major. Yeah, we probably, probably can get another promotion if we want. Now, the advantage of waiting uh, between promotions, just so you know, is that uh, you, you'll you get land. See, like up here I've got 100 acres. So if you wait lengthy periods of time between promotions, the advantage is that you will get more land. Um, I don't know. I think it kind of balances out in the wash. Um, because if you flip loyalties several times during your pirate's life, which I always do, then... Um, you end up you end up getting a ton of land anyway. I, I like to get some promotions early on, at least with one government, with one faction. If, at least so when I go to the tavern, I have a decent chance of getting um, more men to join the crew. So uh, let's go to the merchant first. Let's dump these goods. Okay. It's decent decent price for food, so let's dump some of that. Not too much, because I'm going to need it. Hold on to the spices until we get to a better port to sell. 
Our war with the Spanish and the French. Yep. Break the cake here. Yes, sir. Oh, and he said I'd soon be promoted, so I didn't do enough, I guess, yet. And only 15 people joined. Okay, so here's this event. I've heard some amazing news from my family, which I'll reveal to you for a thousand gold. Now, I'll go ahead and do this because I want to show you guys. Believe your sister, who's been missing for many years, the evil Spaniard, Baron, whatever, has information to be of great value to you the moment he's hiding in the city of Trinidad. Okay, well now we're headed that way anyway, so maybe we'll be able to, to, to get him. So you'll get these leads about people that have <laughs> the same guys over and over again have captured your family. You go and you deal with them. And then they get, they give you like a like a piece of a map to where your family member is being held. You go and recover your family member, and then they give you a piece um, to the lost Inca treasure. Um, now you can you can get you can actually earn a ton of gold, which helps your points towards the end of the game by doing this, saving your family and all that jazz. I I just don't find it particularly very fun. Um, but it's I I'll sh I'll show you at least once throughout this let's play just because it is you know part of the game. Um, but like I said, I don't find it particularly particularly fun. Oh, so see if we could get into a Spanish port, which right now we can. We could sell spices in Santiago for fifty six per. Uh, also recruiting uh, recruiting sailors. You're actually better off going to less prosperous towns to do it. So, like, we're gonna go here. There we go. Less prosperous towns, also. Um, you're better off going to towns you haven't been to recently, so that they've had time to build up. Uh, let's see. Mysterious travel officer sell you part of it. Yeah, now these are normally worth it. Location of the pirate Bart Roberts buried treasure. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, in the vicinity of San Juan. Okay, so we'll go pick that up. Buenizela. Test. Uh, where did he left for Trinidad? Yeah, we know. Everybody's letting us know. Okay, shipwright. Repair, and we'll upgrade for fine powder. Any upgrade we can get for Fuzzy Bear, we will, right? Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Crystal bark, we don't need it. Let's repair this frigate. So we've got kind of one big ton ship, right? 80 tons. And then we've got a bunch of smaller ships and a, and a flagship Sloop of War. Now this is generally what I'll do. Sloop of War is my favorite ship because um, I like the way that it's it's rigged. Um, it, can, it can go straight into the, to the wind. Um, a lot of people will go for these bigger ships, like this frigate. A lot of people would be excited to have this and would deck this thing out and have like ridiculous amounts of guns and 200 and something, uh, you know, crew to go into battle. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm perfectly happy with this little 50 ton Sloop of War. That's as big a ship as I need to have as my main ship, primarily because of the maneuverability. Um, if you get good at sort of evading enemy fire and can get in and board, to me that's that's better than having this ship that can do a ton of broadsides. Okay, let's check our status. 239 and they're very happy. Been at sea for six months. Now the longer we're at sea, you'll see this the status change. It'll go from very happy to happy to content to unhappy to like mutinous, something to that effect. Um, and then you'll have to you'll have to basically break up the crew and start over. So you'll quote unquote retire uh, for like six months or a year or what have you. Um, and you'll be able to come back out of retirement and you'll start a new crew and you'll be able to keep your, your flagship but nothing else and a little bit of gold and some resources. Um, and then you basically start fresh and that's how the game I think balances things out. Um, but we're so early in right now, 18 years old with excellent health. We got a long career ahead of us with this character, so we're doing we're doing well so far. All right, let's go up here. These Dutch ports are friendly to us, if I remember correctly. Let's check. Um, Captain's log will show us status. Okay, so Spanish and Dutch are at war, and 
and we've been attacking some Spanish, have we not? Not much yet, but we get see we can get we can get dual um, reputation there by attacking the Spanish right now. So we can get benefit of it with the Dutch, and we can get benefit with it with the English. So I need to get this crew together, and we need to start attacking some Spanish stuff. So I can go west to San Juan, um, and I've got that buried treasure map that's over there. Or I can go south to Trinidad. Uh, I think I'm going to go south to Trinidad. Uh, additional part of the buried treasure. I mean, I think I know where it's at, so... I don't, I don't really need that, but thanks. Oh, 1,300 gold. Where, where, uh, rumored that the San Domingo is bound for Guadalupe. Oh. Okay. Wow, that's probably worth... Probably worth intercepting, right? Check with the shipwrights. See, like, there's another available upgrade, Grape Shot, which I don't really care about that much, but... I usually get every upgrade I can for my flagship, so I'll just snag it. Trade with the merchant. Good price on luxuries here. I need to remember that. Or try to. Okay, now that ship was supposed to be rumored to be like out in here somewhere. Well, there she is. Sleep of War Escort. Take that first. Now, the original Pirates game, these, uh, if you snag one of these treasure gallons, oh man, it was like the biggest, the biggest deal, because they had so much gold on them, they were so hard to take down. Um, not so much in the remake, um, so they I mean, it's still a good catch, but it's a lot less than, than it, than it was in the original. Still cool, though. Uh, let's take everything. primary ship, the escort has a decent swordsman, the primary ship, the captain's, you know, pretty, pretty slow. Like this guy, yeah, not so much. Pretty long telegraphs to his attacks. Okay, so the Baron, blah blah blah, is on his way to San Juan, he set sail from Trinidad 31 days ago. Okay, so, might be able to intercept him, like, en route. Uh, we'll take all this. Uh, do we want to keep her? Well, she's got zero damage. We're close to a port, so I think yes. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just turn around and go up here to this Dutch port and sell her. You can make good money selling ships, so don't 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 get rid of them. Visit the governor. We might actually earn a promotion from this. Yep, there we go. Oh, okay, and he's got a beautiful daughter. Alright, so we can't, like, take her to the dance room because we're, we're so lowly in rank, but I think it, Admiral, if, if the daughter is beautiful, you can take her to the dance and start a romance or whatever. You want to do that for obvious reasons. <laughs> Captain Mal needs his ladies. No, no, no. It's um, <laughs> it adds a lot of points at the end, so you definitely want to do it. All right, got three people. Oh, I don't need the other part of that map. Damn it. When is allowed? Okay, so he's supposed to be in San Juan, so I guess we will go to San Juan after all. We can hunt some ships off the coast too. We can't attack a town yet, but. Simply because we don't have 
uh, enough resources, but... Trade with a merchant. What? What do we have to get rid of? Sugar? Nah, we'll just dump that there. We don't need this many guns. It's a little bit overkill. Yeah, that's plenty. Maybe, actually, maybe I should get rid of this frigate. Keep the trade guy in and upgrade its sails. This can hold 120 tons. It's kind of nice to have that. Uh, yeah, I think I will do that. Okay, and then let's... Upgrade your sails so you're a little faster. Okay, and then I'm gonna have to get rid of one of these other smaller ships, I think. Otherwise, I'm gonna be missing out on on cargo. So I'll do that. I'll pick up another decent-sized ship. Okay, and here's that map. The vicinity of San Juan. So somewhere we can go pick up that treasure. So we'll do that. Usually it shows you some kind of indicator. So there's a, a arc, an arch rock, dead tree, there's a geyser. We'll be able to find it. Now what I want though is this guy right here. He's supposed to be in this vicinity so hopefully we'll find his war galleon out here somewhere. We can take him. Come on, Baron. Where are you? We're here to kill you. We have a cannonball. We want to shove up your ass. Oh. Uh, transporting a new governor? We want to take that for sure. Oh. There he is. All right. Let's get him. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not afraid of you. 30 guns and all your mods to your ship. Not afraid of you. Fuzzy Bear will prevail. <laughs> ah, evil Baron. Romano emerges. Hiding with the He's kind of a wuss, actually. The crew, his crew is what is what is what give, gives him an advantage. And you're done. What? That was baloney. All right, come on. There we go. I hope you will reveal the truth. You see, your sister's held captive in a remote location. This map should help you. Okay. Yeah, so see? Very helpful. And, and yeah. Mm hmm. You guys know exactly where this is, right? It's, it's, it's next to the geyser. <laughs> so what happens is, you end up having to go after these people, like, multiple times, because you have to get at least two or three pieces of this map to find one missing family member. Then you go find them, and then they give you a piece to the Inca treasure map. Uh, and you're in the same type of scenario. So it's a lot of running around. And it's sort of... Ah, it's sort of meh. Oh, it's good. that was a good haul, though. Right? We'll keep this ship. Now, we're going to take out this governor here. Why you guys will just run your colors and surrender? We're not gonna survive. And here's some more sword for you. Okay. 
Okay, now, let's see if we can find that buried treasure, shall we? Since it's near San Juan, so... Where, where exactly are you? This will anchor here. in the vicinity of San Juan, so... Hmm. But you got water below. Let's see here, let's see. I don't see anything. Some kind of landmark. Maybe I should have bought the other piece of that map, huh? I was like, I don't need that. Oh, hold on. Geyser. And that's, uh, that should be it right there. That should be it. Yep. Ha ha! doubting me. You were doubting me. Alright, so we're up to 17,000 gold. We got enough food for 11 months. The crew's happy. I'd say things are going pretty well. Let's go see if we can catch that raider over there. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's a trade galleon now over here. Yeah, I think I'd rather have that trade galleon. Oh, a bigger Spanish raider, huh? Alright. Spanish Fast Galleon. Those are nice ships. I have used these before as my main ship. Not so much in this remake, but in the original game. Spanish Fast Galleon is always like the best ship. Seem to have the best overall performance. See our fame's building up. Dun, 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 dun. Crew's happy. Okay, so we got a pretty good haul this run. Let's go let's go to a couple ports and sell off some stuff. See if we can sign some more crew up. Maybe get a promotion from the Dutch. We'll hold off on, on trying to get a promotion from the English for a little bit, because I want some more land. But we should be able to get a promotion from the Dutch because of the Spanish ships that we've been attacking. Now we can also raid towns. You can even actually change governorship of a town if you've got enough if you've got enough people, enough soldiers with you. Or enough sailors actually, technically. Um, you can just straight out like take over a colony and put in a new government. But we don't have Where the hell are we? Okay. You never want the captain to say that. Where are we? I don't know. Uh, we're getting close. Uh, off those shoals! Off those shoals! Damn it! Uh, okay. And then into a storm. Nice. Nice work, Captain. Alright, let's stop here and sell stuff. Some of these guns. I don't need to carry this many. Uh, let's see. Sell ship merchant. Oh, triple hammocks. Okay, so we can carry more people. Definitely gonna grab that. 
Oh, and repair. Oh, oh. Um, I think about dumping one of these ships. Maybe get rid of this one? Yeah, I think so. Or one of these smaller ships. That aren't upgraded much. Yeah, let's get rid of this one. Then we can pick up some, some bigger bigger ships to tool around with us. Okay. You got all kinds of damage. Yeah, let's pick up some more sailors. Just right, What do you got to tell us, lady? Oh, French merchantman, huh? Oh, that's too far. I don't want to go all the way over there. Test. Shoot down. Okay, let's go up here to one of these Dutch ports. You guys haven't picked up on it so far. My, my guess is you have, because I have smart viewers, but you can see, right? It says it's English, it's got an English flag. This says it's Dutch, has a Dutch flag. Crazy, I know. There we go. And a hundred. All right, and a hundred. Uh, yeah, we'll bit a hasty cheat here. Um, and a hundred uh, acres of land. Nice. And I don't need it. I don't need the Dutch runners. When is allowed? French up 6,000 on my head now, huh? Oh, darn it. Sold for shipwright. Don't need anything from him. Check for the merchant. Alright, let's sail away. Oh, hey, pirates. Nice. Hey, guys. What are, what are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing in my waters? You're a bad shot there, buddy. And your ship is slow. Meanwhile, the dread ship, Fuzzy Bear, cuts through the water like a shark. Or some equally quick through the water thing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Ton. She's got some upgrades. Yeah, alright, we'll take her. Let's go up here. <laughs> Wenning's allowed. Arden Grumman, through Darden. All right, let me save it. Yep, I'm just using one save game. All right, well, I think this will end this one. I don't want each episode to get too long, so I hope you like the adventures, the continuing adventures of Captain Mal and the Dread Pirate Ship Fuzzy Bear. If you do, please consider giving it a thumbs up if you liked it. As always, I appreciate your comments and feedback. And until next time, I'm Captain Mal, and I will see you later.